Hello, welcome to Chris's beer reviews. No beer review today, but I thought I'd give you a, a tour of my bell tent that I'm staying in this week. So there it is, there's our bell tent. This one's a five meter diameter bell tent. And um, we've got some lights around the outside that look quite nice at night time. Nicely guyed out. Those ones could be a bit tighter, but yeah. There's the bell tent in its glory. The great thing about bell tents is they're canvas. You get no condensation in the morning which is really nice. So we've got a tarp in front of the door. Uh, we keep meaning to get a matching color canvas, proper porch for it, but we keep forgetting, but we will do for next season. There's Nathan sitting down, Leah on her way out the tent. And we've got some solar lights going around the tarp. All looks very nice in the uh, evening. I've taken some evening photographs. So I'll attach those to the video as well. There's our trailer. So let's go in the tent and let's have a look in the side. There's our nice entrance mat. We just duck underneath. There we go, standing back up again. And there's the main entrance to the bell tent. It's got two sets of doors, so there is a mesh door, so you can have the mesh doors still get the air come through and it keeps out the bugs, but we've got it wide open. So yeah, it's two sets of two sets of doors. On the bottom part of these bell tents, you can actually detach them. You can detach the whole uh, ground sheet and then roll up the sides if you want really loads of ventilation. I think we've done that once since we've had it rolled up the sides. So let's go inside, let's have a look. They are super tall bell tents, they're fantastic. One pole only, so they are really easy to set up. Just one pole, takes a bit of time to set up, but quite straightforward. But yeah, one pole, and it is really, really high up. Loads of headroom all the way up. So yeah, we run some lights down the centre pole. And then let's just pan around. So we've got the fridge, some electrics, kitchen unit, etc. Chris's beer reviews glass, got to get that in, haven't we? Look, cactus, it's only a fake one. And table with all our cutleries and plates, and some clothing underneath, and some other cleaning supplies under there. Washing basket for the dirty washing, and we've got some vents at the back, little half moon windows. They all open as well, which is nice. And then we've got beds. During the day, we just stack the beds on top of each other just to create a bit more living space. Nice, quick and easy job to do. And there's my daughter's corner, little storage box. All the bits and pieces, one of the other vents that's open. So let's go up, come round. There's uh, another stack bed. Looks like a sofa, doesn't it? Um, we treat it like a sofa. We can sit on that. It's a decent camp bed. Um, and then we can pan round to my favourite part, which is the log burning stove. So yeah, at the back we've got a kindling, a log and axe for splitting. Fire safety, go have some fire safety. And there's also a carbon monoxide alarm over there as well. There's our logs. And this is the log burning oven with our lovely Le Creuset kettle on there. That's a heat fan, so when this oven gets hot, it triggers that and that starts spinning and pushes more hot air around the tent. It gets lovely and warm in here, it's fantastic to be lovely and warm. And there's the oven. So yeah, the log, logs all go in this side. Needs clean out because I used it this morning to make cinnamon swirls in the oven part. So yeah, that's where all the, the logs go in there. And you can adjust the airflow with that little dial. And then we've got the oven as well cooked all sorts in there absolutely everything it just works just like a normal oven really with its temperature gauge on the side it's nice cast iron pans top of the oven uh, you can get varying temperatures for cooking you can leave that in and that gets nice and hot this gets hot but not as hot as that side so you can vary and then this comes out as well so you can put pans directly over the flames if you want which is why we've got the cast iron pans and the kettle goes on there as well yeah, it's a lovely little setup. So we've got the chimney. So in here, we've got the sewn-in heat shield uh, with this heat gasket thing. I've forgot what it's called now, but this thing's got a name. So the chimney goes up there. I'll show you what the outside of the chimney looks like. But yeah, it's an absolutely delightful bit of kit, that is. We've cooked everything on there. Yeah, just panning around. Coming back out. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely tent very high. Let me show you the chimney outside. That's the family. And yeah, there's the chimney. It goes up quite high. And it's lovely seeing the 
smoke coming out of there, but most of the time I'm burning decent wood so it burns really clear, you can't really see any smoke coming out. And yeah, that's the other part I'm talking about, the other part of the heat shield, which detaches, we take that out when we put the tent away. Now you do get spots of ash come down on it, but nothing horrendous. So yeah, and there you go, that is the Belton. That's the family again, say hello Nathan. Hello. He's well happy. <laughs> and there comes Leah coming out the tent, looking delightful. And there's our nice little entrance mat and back to the beginning. So yeah, that's my uh, little review, or not review rather, just a tour of our bell tent. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Anything you want to say or add about what you can do with them, feel free. It's only our second season using the bell tent, uh, but we absolutely love it. It's fantastic. I'm all done. See you on the next one. Bye now.